close. Not a lot of time, Vic. Understand there's a narrow margin window. Wherever it's hidden, time to retrieve it. Working on it. And when it's done, he'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. <laughs> what is going on guys and welcome back. So I need to take some rest I think. Let's see. Maybe in this episode we'll kill Robert. I hope so. Holy morning. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't- It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge, kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Of course. Let's go. We are close, guys. And then Assassin's Creed 2. You can create diversions with dead bodies. Soldiers can leave their posts to investigate them. Allow. I mean, my student, we have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool, one that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. 
Such thoughts are poison, and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced, then, to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way, through you. What was each killing, if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. All right, Jerusalem. Let's get this done. A new sword? Wow. A new ability. All right. Let's pay a visit to Robert the Sabbath. Isn't that how I say the name, Robert? This. Uh, all right. Never mind. Hey, watch out! Selecting the hidden blade during fight will allow you to quickly dispatch an enemy you've thrown to the ground. Let's see the Indra die. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend. So... Looks like I will need to find some investigations and then I will come back. Okay guys, I found here a priest. But today is different. Crusader knights walk the streets of Jerusalem and not in occupation. There is no evil in their hearts. And so we must seize this opportunity. Begin a dialogue. Make amends. Together, we might finally bring truth to the ever ephemeral promise of peace. We must be strong, we must be brave, and we must find the courage to face those we once called our enemies and now instead call them friends. The Crusaders come to Jerusalem, bringing with them an opportunity to end the fighting, to stop the war. That we may stand as one, we must not turn them away. Come over here. Hey man, come over here. I'll show you. You show me what. Take that. Oh no. No. Take that. Shit. No. Get out. That's you speak right. Speak peace, but your words are hollow. No. I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am. Then you are also a liar and a fraud. 
just like your master. Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. But this is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. <laughs> So, I found two more investigations, uh, one behind me, and the other over there. So. Let's go over here. I'll tell you, my friend. You must help me. Malik has tasked me with killing several archers posted in the region, so that our brothers might move around more easily. Normally, it wouldn't be a problem, but this funeral has everyone on edge. The city guard has dispatched its best men to keep the peace, and I simply don't have the skill to remove them. I'd ask two favors of you then. First, to kill the bowmen, and second, do not tell Malik of my failure. In exchange, I'll see what I can learn of Robert's plans. Deal. Let's kill these archers. <laughs> There's one over here. Dead. Three more. Where is he? Oh, it's over here. Let's go. Here. He's over there. I can just throw a knife. That's it. Nice. The last one is over there. Jump. No. He's over there. Let's just throw. Goodbye. That's it. I'm forever grateful for your aid. Malik would never have forgiven me. Here's what I've learned. For a man such as myself, a direct assault in the cemetery would be impossible. There are simply too many guards. Instead, I'd look to blend in with the scholars who are sure to be in attendance. It may not be the most direct approach, but it's certainly safer. Okay. No. Let's the 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 Then we complete this. Guys, I'll have your head! You will not, not get me. away from me! Look everywhere! Come on. I will hide over there. Oh, but I can't. Yeah, I want to. Oh, that's it. They are not following me anymore. Oh, okay. Good to see you, brother. I trust you're here for the funeral. Or for Robert, rather. I've kept my eyes and ears open, but I've nothing to report. Things are quiet here. Perhaps Tariq has seen or heard something you can use. He's stationed not far from here. Go to him. See what knowledge he has. Let's go, we have one minute. No, you don't have to get back to the Let's go. I need to do this real fast. Let's go I'm over here. What the hell? How about you turn around and go away? Let's jump here. No, let me go down. He's going to hurt there we go. Excellent timing, Otegi. I found something you'll find quite useful. Orders for Robert's guards. This map I've made will show you where he intends to station them. Put it to good use. Investigation complete. 
Get out! Stop! Begging for money. Now, why is he doing that? We'll kill Robert. In this episode. To stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake. It is our very existence we are fighting for. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. Robert de Sables in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. I won't give him the chance to continue his campaign. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. It's been a strange day. You have no idea, Mali. Then tell me. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake, we are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al-Mu'allam told me. So what is your plan? I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. No, you don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Perhaps if I had not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair, that you might be ready for what lies ahead. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Let's do this. Kill our greatest enemy. Alright, let's go. Come on, stop! I don't have money. 
they are protecting this place. I hope we find another way. Get him. What is it? I can go over here. Yeah. Be here. Be gone. If I go here, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Come on, <laughs> all right. Where is he now? I mean, we gather here. To mourn the loss of our beloved Majdid Din, taken too soon from this world. I know you feel sorrow and pain at his passing, but you should not. For just as we are all brought forth from the womb, so too must we all one day pass from this world. It is only natural, like the rising and the setting of the sun. Take this moment to reflect on his life and give thanks for all the good he did. Know that one day you will stand with him again in paradise. As you know, this man was murdered. We have tried to track his killer, but it has proved difficult. These creatures cling to the shadows and run from any who would face them fairly. But not today, for it seems one stands among us. He mocks us with his presence and must be made to pay. Seize him! Bring him forward that God's justice might be done! Let's do this! Get out! Take that! Oh no, there are archers! What the hell? Wait a second, come over here! Oh, now you run! Look at that! It's not fair! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Let's go over here so the other hatcher can do nothing. Get out. This won't be too good. No, what the hell? Oh my god, this is so bad. How can that be expected to keep? That's right, take it. That's right, now it's just me and you. Get out. I can only fight with you, even I. Get out, stop grabbing me. Get out. No. What the hell? Get out, stop grabbing me, what the heck? Come the fuck on. That's it. 
Finally. I would see your eyes before you die. I sense you expected someone else. What sorcery is this? No sorcery. We knew you'd come. Robert needed to be sure he'd have time to get away. So he flees. We cannot deny your success. You have laid waste to our plans. First the treasure, then our men. Control of the Holy Land slipped away. But then he saw an opportunity. To reclaim what has been stolen. To turn your victories to our advantage. Al Mualim still holds your treasure, and we've routed your army before. Whatever Robert plans, he'll fail again. Ah, but it's not just Templars you'll contend with now. Speak sense. Robert rides for Arsa to plead his case that Saracen and Crusader unite against the Assassins. That will never happen. They have no reason to. Had, perhaps. But now you've given them one. Nine, in fact. The bodies you've left behind, victims on both sides. You've made the Assassins an enemy in common and ensured the annihilation of your entire order. Well done. Not nine. Eight. What do you mean? You are not my target. I will not take your life. You're free to go, but do not follow me. I don't need to. You're already too late. We'll see. What the fuck just happened? Alright. So... Let's go. <laughs> Damn, she was strong. I knew the master was hiding something. Get out. Come on, look at that. There's so many. I will hide over there. Come on, leave me a break. Can I hide here? Or they are they are watching me, yes. Come on. No. I need to find a good place to hide. Hey, get out! Wow. That's bad. They are just free. No, of course. No, they are cornered. We'll kill them. It was a trap. I had heard the funeral turned to chaos. What happened? Robert de Sable was never here. He sent another in his stead. He was expecting me. You must go to Al Mualim. There's no time. She told me where he's gone. What he plans. If I return to Masyaf, he might succeed. And then, I fear we'll be destroyed. We have killed most of his men. He cannot hope to mount a proper attack. Wait, did you say she? Yes, it was a woman. Strange, I know. But that's for another time. For now, we must focus on Robert. We may have thinned his ranks, but the man is clever. He goes to plead his case to Richard and Salah Hadin, to unite them against the common enemy. Against us. Surely you are mistaken. This makes no sense. 
These two men would never... Oh, but they would. And we have ourselves to blame. The men I've killed. Men on both sides of the conflict. Men important to both leaders. Robert's plan may be ambitious, but it makes sense. And it could work. Look, brother. Things have changed. You must return to Masyaf. We cannot act without our master's permission. It could compromise the Brotherhood. I thought... I thought you had learned this. Stop hiding behind words, Malik. You wield the Creed and its tenants like some shield. He's keeping things from us. Important things. You were the one told me we could never know anything, only suspect. Well, I suspect this business with the Templars goes deeper. When I'm done with Robert, I will write for Masyaf that we may have answers. But perhaps you could go now. I cannot leave the city. Then walk amongst its people. Seek out those who serve the ones I slew. Learn what you can. You call yourself perceptive. Perhaps you'll see something I could not. I don't know. I must think on this. Do as you must, my friend. But it's time I ride for Arsuf. Every moment I delay, our enemy gets one step ahead of me. Be careful, brother. I will be. I promise. Let's return and find Robert.